There is a point I want to make. School. Let's say for the example I am going to use, let's say what I am saying is right pertaining to school. In school, you pretty much come to be taught. You may have to do homework. You may have exams and tests and stuff like that. I believe uh, on some tests, you may have to score above a particular grade. Let's say above an 80, 80%. And if you don't make it past the 80%, higher than it, you may have to retake that test. And if you fail it again, you may have to retake it again. So you may have to continue to retake that test until you pass it. So let's say that you are doing very well on the homework, on the quizzes, on the exams, on the test. Let's say like you did an okay job. When that happens, you will graduate to the next level. I believe living for Jesus Christ is pretty much the same in a sense. Some people may say, Uncle Cav, I am no good in living for Jesus Christ. And I may say, why is that? You may say to me, Uncle Kev, I continue to do what is wrong. Let me ask you a question. When you go to school, school, or when you went to school, when you did your homework, did you always get the answers correct? When you took your test, did you always answer all the problems, all the questions correctly? Like, did you get a 100% on all the homework, all the tests, all the exams, all the exercises and stuff like that? Did you get a 100% on everything? If you are like me, <laughs> you did not. You made mistakes. You may have failed some tests. You may have failed some homework. So why didn't you say, well, since I have failed this test, I have failed this exam, I quit school. For this example, let's say you did not quit school. So why didn't you quit school? What you did, you probably studied a little bit more. You probably asked for assistance. You probably practiced a little bit more. And you worked at it, and you worked at it, and you worked at it. You worked at it until you passed the test. How is living for Jesus Christ different from that? You come to school to be taught. You come to school to learn about reading and writing and science and math and English and stuff like that. Before you were taught those things, you didn't know too much about it. But you went to school to learn. Are you understanding what I am saying to you? You don't know too much about Jesus Christ. You don't know a lot about his ways. So, since you don't know so much about him, of course you are going to mess up a lot. Of course you may say the wrong things do the wrong thing, but you need to stick with it. I see living for Jesus Christ like school. 
I believe you will get tested. And I truly believe too, if you don't pass your test, I believe you will continue taking that test until you pass. Are you understanding what I am saying to you? Since living for Jesus Christ is like a class, school, which I truly believe, since you don't know everything, of course, from time to time, you may do what is wrong. You may fail at times. But what you need to do is keep at it. Are you listening to what I am saying? Keep at it. Why are you giving up on school? Are you understanding? When you went to a normal school, did you have it in your head that, hey, I am going to get a 100% on all of my tests, on all of my quizzes, on all of my homework, did you have that in your head? Probably not. So why would you think that you will be perfect at living for Jesus Christ in the beginning? Let me say this, I am not perfect, but I believe I am better than the way I was in the past. In the past, I don't think I ever thought I would get to the point where I am now. I feel when you submit yourself to Jesus Christ, when you begin being obedient to him, I believe a changing process initiates, if I am saying that correctly changing the way you think, changing the way you feel, changing your heart, changing your attitude. Are you listening? Changing you more and more until you become like Jesus Christ. So when you begin living for Jesus Christ, yes, you are going to mess up so much. Yes, you are going to fail so much. I believe living for Jesus Christ is like a school. So don't be discouraged. Keep on trying. Even if you make 100 mistakes a day, keep on trying. Yes, demons may try to make you feel ashamed and guilty for your past sins. They may try to remind you of what you have done. They may give you thoughts like, hey, why are you still trying to live for Jesus Christ when you stole something, when you cussed out your mother, when you fought this person? They may bring up things to make you feel like you should not continue on living for Jesus Christ. Are you listening to what I am saying to you? Just because you fail so much in living for Jesus Christ doesn't mean you should quit. Failing is part of the process. Oh boy, are you listening? I don't do everything right. Am I better than before? Of course. But I don't say everything right. I don't do everything right. Sometimes I may not have the right attitude, but I am still changing. My mind is still changing. My heart is still changing. Are you listening? I am conforming more and more to the ways of Jesus Christ. This is what we supposed to do. Stop saying you are no good in living for Jesus Christ because it makes no sense. In school, there are A students, B, C, D, F students, right? Everyone is not on the same level. 
just because you are a C student doesn't mean you don't pass. Are you listening to what I am saying? Just because you are a D student, oh boy, doesn't mean you don't pass. Did you hear what I just said? You may believe inside of your earthly mind in order to pass, in order to be a real Christian, you have to be only an A student. And that is not true. It is not true. For instance, I am not the smartest in the world. I may not have many talents, but there are some things I can do. I may not fit in the A category or the B or C, but whether I am a D student, I still pass. I still pass. Living for Jesus Christ is not like a picnic. It isn't something so easy, so simple. No. It is something you have to work at in a sense. It is something you have to improve in. Just because you fail, just because you mess up from time to time, doesn't mean you should quit. Are you listening to me? You should never give up. You should never surrender. Let me say this. If you truly want to change, if you truly place so much effort into improving, I will tell you this. If you keep at it, I truly believe you will continue to improve and improve. Stop looking at perfection as something you need to be in order to live for Jesus Christ. Let me say this so that I don't confuse anyone. We should strive for perfection, but if we don't be perfect, it doesn't mean we should stop living for Jesus Christ. We need to continue to strive and strive for perfection. From what I understand, I believe when you live for Jesus Christ, you will gradually change. I don't know if there is anyone that could go from zero to 100 in a day or a year or two years. I believe as you obey Jesus Christ, you gradually change. Anyways, I really hope all of this makes sense. Let me stop here. May God bless us.